So we've just run a 12 week social enterprise accelerator that's been funded by the Queensland State Government to help really engage the social enterprise ecosystem of the Wide Bay region to learn new skills, to understand how to run social enterprises, to start them and to also grow them, grow their existing enterprises. So there's some really impressive ideas come through, some really innovative ideas. There's an organisation called Ploys, a social enterprise that takes plastic waste from pool toys, specifically from pool toys. They've already repurposed one tonne of plastic waste that has saved it from going into the ocean. And they've made new products with that waste and they're selling that into the market right now. Another fantastic organisation has been the Cafe 129 Cafe that's been set up to specifically employ people from disadvantaged backgrounds in hospitality. And the amount of interest we had in people taking part in the programme, it was oversubscribed, which shows that there's a real need. Um, and just this afternoon, we ran a vision and roadmap session to help people from the region to really articulate what their vision for social enterprise is over the next three to five years. There's a lot of focus at the moment in state government, particularly and particularly from the Department of Employment, Small Business and Training. And Minister Di Farmer has been announcing successive tranches of funding that's been released to the sector to support the growth of social enterprise. But also we're seeing large organisations, really big corporations interested in using their procurement spends to support the development of social enterprise. So we're seeing this really large amount of money come into the sector, not just from grants and philanthropy, but also from procurement. So CQU has been pivotal in this space, in my opinion, over the last two to three years, specifically around regional Queensland. So we've been uh, funding, self-funding lots of community education in this space. And again, you know, with grateful support from the Department of Employment, Small Business and Training, we've been able to roll out four social enterprise ex accelerators across the state. So Bundaberg, uh, Cairns, Rockhampton and Darling Downs.